Hello, my name is Itre, and uh, this is a research about bioinformatics analysis on the NF kappa B pathway in brain tumors. To better understand the research, there are a few questions. What is cancer and why the immune system cannot defend against cancer? Well, cancer is a disease caused when cells divide uncontrollably and spread into surrounding tissues. Cancer is caused by changes to DNA. Immune system cannot identify the cancer because it is programmed to identify foreign particles. Cancer is considered self and slips under the radar. How is the NF-kappa B pathway important in this research? NF-kappa B pathway has emerged as a pivotal role in both progression and development. Some factors it controls are inflammation, cell pro proliferation, and apoptosis. NF-kappa B pathway's involvement in these inflammatory cytokine activation promotes tumor growth. This study focuses on the expression of NF-kappa B1 and NF-kappa B2 in glioblastoma, in short GBM, and low-grade gliomas, LGG. Why were GBM and LGG chosen out of all these groups? GBM is a highly aggressive and fatal brain tumor, whereas LGG generally has better prognosis, but can progress to higher grade malignancies. The graph's y-axis is the expression, while the x-axis is different, is the different types of tumors. In the legend, the red color is for tumor and the blue is for non-tumor, a control group. Looking at the expression plot of NF-kappa B1 and NF-kappa B2, GBM had differential plot indicating that non-tumor expression of the genes were significantly lower than tumor expressions. So for the differential plot of NF-kappa B1, non-tumor expression was significantly lower than tumor expression. Similar, same goes with NF-kappa B2, where GBM has a significantly lower expression for non-tumor uh, compared to tumor. Now, there is no LGG data because it is almost unnecessary for people to donate brain samples for cancer with fairly good prognosis rate, hence having uh, the missing data for LGG. Now let's look at these charts in much more detail. Non-tumor samples show significantly lower NF-kappa B expression compared to GBM samples. Similar trend is observed for NF-kappa B2 with lower expression in non-tumor samples compared to GBM samples. Both NF-kappa B1 and NF-kappa B2 are more highly expressed in GBM, indicating higher activation of NF-kappa B pathway during tumor. The data plots significant legends are three stars for when p-value is less than 0.001, two stars for when p-value is less than 0.01, and one star for when p-value is less than 0.05. So both the data are very significant. NF-kappa B expression varies among different subtypes of LGG, such as oligodendrogliomas, oligoastrocytomas, and astrocytomas. NF-kappa B2 shows a similar expression pattern to NF-kappa B1. These expression plots will be used for comparison with GBM. This is the combined data set of GBM and LGG, known as GBM-LGG. Looking at GBM and LGG subtypes, NF-kappa B1 expression in GBM is one of the highest, suggesting that NF-kappa B1 is more expressed in this data set. NF-kappa B2 has a lower expression trend in oligodendrogliomas, while GBM is one of its highest expression, both showing a consistency of GBM being one of their higher expressing data plots. Now, how does this expression affect, the other, fa affect other factors? The pathway enrichment from string. Genes correlated with NF-kappa B1 were chosen between the range of negative 0.3 to 0.3. Similar process was taken with NF-kappa B2. The analysis shows processes such as synaptic signaling, neurotransmitter regulation, and neuron differentiation as highly en enriched. These factors are going to be more susceptible to errors due to irregulated expression of NF-kappa B1. For NF-kappa B2, 
key metabolic pathways, chemical carcinogenesis, and NK cell mediated cytotoxicity will be affected due to once again irregulated gene expression. Now let's look at how these expression levels are correlated with clinical data. Kaplan Meier estimator is to look at survival rates and the amount of time the patients are living. The y axis is the percentage of survival, while the x axis is the time which is measured in months. For the legend, light blue color stands, out, stands for low gene expression, while red stands for high gene expression. Looking at the Kaplan Meier chart for NF kappa B1 and NF kappa B2, in GPM, there's a slight separation of low gene and high gene expression. Uh, a, charts A and B, where NF kappa B1 is A and NF kappa B2 is B in uh, GPM. Low gene expression seems to have a slight edge over the high gene expression. But looking at uh, data sets uh, GBM LGG, which is a combined data set, NF kappa B1, which is C, and NF kappa B2, which is D, have better survival rate when they are expressed at a lower level. There's much more separation uh, with the significance of log rank p-value being less than 0 0.05. Looking at all the data of the genes NF-kappa B1 and NF-kappa B2, GBM samples should have higher expression of the genes compared to non-tumor and LGG subtypes. Due to the higher expression of nf of these genes, pathways are also affected causing more problems. This high expression leads to a low rate of survival in the Kaplan-Meier estimator. So to produce a drug, one must consider all the factors such as tumor type, genes that are affiliated with the tumor progression, what their expressions are, and if there wants to be gene regulation, what factors slash pathways are directly associated with the main pathway. Procedures in this research were finding a pathway and the genes, searching on firebrows to see what the expression levels of the genes showed against the control and why these, can, why these tumors were a better choice than the others, using Cleovis to look into more detail and retrieve kaplan mayer charts, and using string to make pathway enrichment charts. For future directions, there is already research into the NF-kappa-B pathway, though it will need quite some funding. There is already a drug uh, called bortezomib, which is associated with targeting the NF-kappa-B the NF -kappa -B pathway. There can be potential flaws in this research, as this is a bioinformatics research with usage of data, public data sets, and no wet lab experiments were conducted. Thank you.